And with many honoring the Fort Hood specialist today, we're taking a look back at how we got here. Fox 44's Cameron Stewart, he's in the studio tonight continuing this team coverage. Cameron, how did this saga begin? Well, Adam, it's been almost four months now, and the Guillen family went from searching for answers to now fighting for justice. On April 22nd, 20 year old Vanessa Guillen was last seen on Fort Hood. Put yourself in my shoes and speak up before it's too late. Don't try to cover for anyone that won't do it for you. I need whoever knows, seen, heard, anything at this point is helpful. In the months after her disappearance, Guillen's story gets national attention, with celebrities voicing their support and the I am Vanessa Guillen hashtag exposing thousands of sexual misconduct stories in the military. The family organizes weekly protests outside Fort Hood, calling for answers from the Army after Vanessa told them she was sexually harassed by a superior. Justice for Vanessa! Justice for Vanessa! On June 30th, investigators located Specialist Guillen's remains buried near the Leon River in Bell County. The next day, Colleen police found and confronted the man suspected in her murder. The suspect was located walking in the 4700 block of East Rancier Avenue. As officers attempted to make contact with the suspect, he produced a weapon and committed suicide by shooting himself. One week later, her family confirmed the remains were Specialist Guillen's. In addition to the man believed to have killed Specialist Guillen, another person was arrested in connection to the case. Cecily Aguilar was charged as an accomplice to the murder, claiming Aaron Robinson, the suspect who committed suicide, killed Guillen. In late July, her family met with President Trump at the White House, discussing a congressional bill in Guillen's honor that would allow soldiers to report sexual misconduct outside the Army's chain of command. It hit me very hard. I saw what happened to your daughter, Vanessa, who was a... Uh spectacular person and respected and loved by everybody, including in the military. And just this month, with pressure bearing down from politicians and humanitarian organizations, Secretary of the Army Ryan McCarthy visits Fort Hood to discuss an independent panel tasked to review the culture and chain of command on the post. The numbers are high here. They are the highest in most cases for sexual assault and harassment and murders for our entire formation, the U.S. Army. So uh, we are getting an outside look to help us to get to those root causes and understand that so that we can make those changes. And although Guillen's memorial service was today, the story isn't over. Congress will next be in session to look at that bill in her honor in January. Live in the studio, I'm Cameron Stewart, Fox 44 News.